consultant and a web developer. He knows a lot about the subject. He just released a terrifying report demonstrating just how much information Google and Facebook collect about you and the rest of their users. Dylan Curran joins us tonight. Dylan, thanks a lot for coming on. Um, so Hi, Tucker. Thanks for having me on. You do this stuff for a living. You thought you knew a lot about the level of data collection by Facebook. You learned things you didn't know. Tell us what you learned. Yes, yeah, so I feel like a lot of people in the tech industry had a general idea of what was going on. But when I went in and actually looked at the information, I found a lot of things that were totally unexpected. So they were recording, as was said in the report, your actual phone records and your text records. So now your Facebook calls and messages, your actual physical phone records. And then uh, apart from that, then I went into Google and they were storing a lot more information than I had previously expected. They were storing search history as far back as 2008. They had my location mapped back as far as 2014, showing pretty much every location I've been for the last four years, every day, and with a timestamp. They have also sh they showed all of the files and images I've ever downloaded, all the apps I've ever used or searched for. They also showed my Google Fit statistics, like how many steps I've walked, workouts, yogas, all the ads I've viewed and clicked on, all of my YouTube history. And the most disturbing thing was that they actually showed your Google Incognito history. So I tested this, I went in and browsed Google Incognito and they actually kept the information. It was in the archive when I went to re-download it. So that means that when you think you're privately browsing, Google is still collecting that data. Wait, so they, they included things that you thought you'd deleted? Yeah, so I had my Google Drive, which is just cloud storage, and I had a lot of files on there that I wanted to delete because they were personally liable. So that's right. items such as you know my CV, my monthly budget, a couple of websites and code, and a, an encryption key. And I had explicitly deleted those so that there would not be no threat of those being stolen in the future. But then when I went into my archive, those files were there. So Google, we, we reached out to Google today and about this, and their response essentially was, well, everyone knows this. You know, it's in the agate type in the terms of use. Do you think everyone does know yeah. this? No, absolutely not. And my tweets wouldn't have received such unbelievable attention if that was the case. Saying everybody knows this is a cop-out because they're saying everybody knows this because when you sign the or when you accept the terms and conditions of all the apps you are technically signing away your rights to that information but realistically nobody does re read the terms and conditions cannot because not everybody has the time to read those terms and conditions and not everybody yeah. is a trained lawyer well that's right and it's inherently dishonest if they tell you you're deleting something but they keep a record of it it's not deleted that's a lie and they should be held accountable exactly. for that dylan thank you thank you for that that's terrifying but interesting no worries thanks tucker the Democratic Party has changed dramatically in the last couple of years while the rest of us are covering Stormy Daniels. Its core positions would be foreign to the Bill Clinton of 1996 or, for that matter, to Barack Obama just a few years ago. A former top official in the Obama administration and the Hillary Clinton campaign joins us next.